I'm Lauren Wolf. I'm a reporter for Chemical and Engineering News, and I'm here today to interview my colleague, Carmen Drawl. She's a senior writer for the magazine. We're going to talk about the story that just came out this week. Uh, Carmen attended the latest National Organic Symposium. It's the 43rd of these meetings held in June in Seattle. And we're just going to talk about her article. So Carmen, you were an organic chemist in your past life. Did you attend one of these meetings when you were an undergrad or a grad student? Actually, I never have attended a National Organic Symposium as a scientist, only as a reporter. If you had to name a talk that you saw this year that you thought was really terrific, what, what would you say? I started my story with Eiichi Nakamura's talk because I thought it was, it was more than just the science. He even did things like share reviewer letters that had panned his science, his molecular movies, when they were still sort of in development. And that's really interesting to hear from someone as prestigious as, as a Nakamura. What is the coolest fact that you learned about NOS? Oh gosh, so much. Um, <laughs> it depends on what you think is cool. I thought it was hilarious that they only started offering free time in the afternoons in the 1960s. That seems to go with the philosophy of organic chemists, that you must be in lab at all times, you must be at the symposium at all times. No comment. <laughs> Well, thank you, Carmen, for sharing your NOS knowledge with me and with the viewers of CNN. And thank you to the viewers for watching.